what's going on guys ness here what i have in front of me today is the wasp 2 elite edition by fly digi now the wii 2 gamepad by fly digi is actually my current favorite mobile gamepad so i have some pretty high expectations for this device it's one of those one-handed gamepads which really isn't my thing but this one seems really badass and has some unique features so let's take a closer look at this thing Opening up the box, we have a travel case. Fly Digi always does such a good job with the presentation of its products. And this one is no exception. This is really nice. So opening up the Wasp 2 travel case, we have a black plastic bag. And inside the bag is a USB type C cable for charging the unit. Behind that, we have some warranty information and an instruction manual with some QR codes. Over on the right, we have the insert for the M button. We'll get into that a little later on. And then we also have an alternative style joystick. And of course we have the Wasp 2 game controller itself. Taking a closer look at the controller, it has one analog stick, two face buttons, one fly digi button, two shoulder buttons, and over on the back side it has the insert for the M button, which serves as more of like a paddle trigger than it does a button. It's got that yellow on black color scheme and feels very well built. Over on the bottom it has the on off switch and a little rubber flap that opens up, revealing the USB type C port for charging as well as a USB Type-C mail connector that goes connected to your phone in order to verify the device. Kind of syncs everything up a lot easier if you do it this way. Connecting the device to your phone is actually pretty simple. It uses the Flash Play app like previous Fly Digi devices, and as soon as you turn it on, it recognizes the device almost immediately. You then pop open the expander on the back and slide your mobile device right into place. The Flash Play app has a bunch of presets for a variety of different mobile games. So pick which game you want and just launch it from the Flash Play app. Playing a couple of games of PUBG Mobile with the Wasp 2, it felt great. Really comfortable and responsive and I would expect no less from Fly Digi. Using the analog stick to control your character's movements while still using your touchscreen to aim and look. I had no problems playing any other games with it as well. It's just an overall really well built gamepad. So the Wasp 2 by Fly Digi. As I said before guys, these one handed gamepads really ain't my cup of tea. I feel like if I'm going to use a gamepad for mobile, I like a fully functioning gamepad. This whole Frankenstein tumor hanging halfway off my phone isn't really something I've gotten behind yet. But with the Wasp 2, I can see why someone would prefer this control scheme. The analog stick felt great, the buttons were extremely responsive, and Fly Digi just seems to be on a roll making really good products as of late. Personally, I still prefer my Wii 2 gamepad over this. But if the full gamepad setup isn't your thing and you're looking for something more like this, I would highly recommend this. I'll put a link to the Wasp 2 in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.